We can learn from St. Joseph. So the first thing is, let's go back to the scripture and pay close attention to what the scripture has to say about St. Joseph. Just one word. St. Joseph is a just man. From what we have said so far, St. Teresa gave much importance to the statue of St. Joseph as a spiritual and mystical symbol of his presence in the dominant communities, and of course in the church and in her darkness. It's an eye-opener to some things we don't know about our saint, St. Joseph, who is the spouse of our Blessed Mother, Virgin Mary. The solemnity of St. Joseph made one the bishop of the same water, 19th of the April month, and every Wednesday, a day dedicated to St. Joseph in the Latin tradition, and then we can then a plenary indulgence if we fulfill the conditions and recite any approved prayer or in honor of St. Joseph in this year, in this holy year of St. Joseph. One of our main devotions is that uh, of that to St. Joseph. You know, that in the Camelot order, devotion to St. Joseph comes second, you know, to devotion to Our Lady of Mount Carmel. So, relevance of honoring St. Joseph can ask. Is the devotion to St. Joseph relevant? And what is the answer? Yes. Our space is this house to Jesus, our many to be done, and to bury our bitterness and protectors. So now, we enjoy the privilege of having St. Joseph. It makes parents see St. Joseph as the ruler of intelligent uh, parent. We have the women and the women of prayer. We are we listen much. Speak to us and uh, speak to the solution. Speak to the system. We should also listen to the Teresa's presentation, namely to choose the solution as a master and teacher of prayer.
Pastor Joseph and the riches, you know, the, 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 the powerful intercessory uh, intercession of Saint Joseph that he so he can he prays for us. He's the provident father of the church and the protector of the church. So the Lord of Saint Joseph is drawn for his revelations of scripture and for his praying is put in the best part of his thoughts. So we are on a saint ground in believing our experiences of Saint Joseph and the theology that she did from the experiences. I bring in the idea of divine revelation because Vatican II document, the Vatican Constitution on divine revelation, day 11, number 18, 36, and reminds us that sacred theology rests on the written word of God together with traditions as primary and I'm so impressed and so happy today because uh, right as you rightly heard, right from the beginning of the Carmelite order, St. Joseph has been at the heart of our life. We see him as a provider and pro protector of the, our Carmelite order. I want everybody to acknowledge St. Joseph. The souls should also remember him, not only a lady of Mount Carmel. I'm happy that I participated because this is an eye opener to some things we don't know about our Saint Saint Joseph, who is the spouse of our Blessed Mother Virgin Mary, and who we know at the Great of the Church. To me, this lecture is an eye opener that. We cannot just have a devotion to our million devotions without having a devotion to our Father, St. Joseph. We can learn from St. Joseph. So the first thing is, let's go back to the scripture and pay close attention to what the scripture has to say about St. Joseph. Just one word. St. Joseph is a just man. So he has learned over the years by listening to God, by praying to give God his due. And not just God, but then to give men they are due. So the lecture actually calls us to imitate St. Joseph, to pray to him for his intercession, and then to love St. Joseph. So, when I joined the Carmelite Order, I came to understand that um, uh, one of our main devotions is that uh, of that to St. Joseph. You know, that in the Carmelite Order, devotion to St. Joseph comes second you know, to devotion to Our Lady of Mount Carmel. So I know that in my own family, my parents made us to have devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary and to St. Joseph. So when I came to the Carmelite Order, uh, I had an opportunity of deepening the devotions to Our Lady and to St. Joseph. So that really prompted me to pay particular attention to these two devotions that are great treasures to the Carmelite Order and to the Carmelites. It has been an enlightening a public lecture delivered by Father Cyril, beautiful lecture, and then um, the Professor Jude Okama, the moderator, also did a nice job. In fact, it's very, very, very uh, enlightening for many of us and thought-provoking, especially in this uh, year of the year of St. Joseph. So that topic is apt. It's a call, like someone said during the presentation, to duty, that we need to propagate devotion to St. Joseph, we need to let people know about St. Joseph and the riches, you know, the, 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 the powerful intercessory uh, intercession of St. Joseph that he so he can, he prays for us. He's the provident father of the church and the protector of the church. So we need to have recourse to him at each time, just like we do with our Mother Mary, you know, uh, because it's like a forgotten person, you know, relegated to the background in the course of history of the church. So now this is an opportunity for us to bring him to the fore, place him where he belongs. If we know, this will have a father in him. Her trust with the Christ, the keeper, the Saint Joseph to us too. Show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy. Us from us.